Hello, we are gonna do 15 minute Pilates and this is to prep you for running or jumping. Um, I have a particular athlete in mind for this one. Um, but besides that, anybody who runs, jumps or hops or hurdles might wanna do this. Bring your legs to your chest and just hug in so that your low back is pressed on the ground. Take a big breath in. Let all the air out. One more. We're just gonna start with a little bit of warm up. This is good for anybody, but bring both legs to one side. Just kind of wake up the body before we do some specific glute, hamstring, calf and core exercises. Take a breath in, exhale, bring your legs back to center. Inhale, go to the other side. Relax here for a bit, take a breath in. And out. Bring your legs back to center with an exhale. Lower leg one, one leg down, straighten and bend the other leg. You can straighten and point the foot, bend and flex. Straighten, point, bend and flex. Four, three, two, and one. Other side, and six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's warm up the core, curl your chest up. Reach one leg long and hold on to the other one. Arms are helping you stay up here. Front of you is engaged. You're pulling your leg in, kind of getting this like cross twisty stretch situation. And then switch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Belly scooped in. And now do the same thing with straight legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bent legs again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, straight legs, 10, nine, eight, seven, oops, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, lie down on your side, bend the front, the top leg, to get a stretch along the front of your thigh. If you're super tight here, it's more comfortable to grab in front of you and then pull back. But then as you pull back, make sure it doesn't arch your back. Your tail is tucked under. All right, cross that leg over, come up onto your side and get a good side stretch here. And then maybe you feel the front of you or the side of your hip getting stretched a little bit. You can roll forward and back, figure out where you can get the best stretch for you. Let's do the other side. Almost ready for the strengthening. Okay, get our body prepped first. All right. Cross it over, pop yourself up, get a good side stretch, lean forward and back, figure out where you need to be to get that stretch. All right, lie on your backs. Let's start with a couple pelvic tilts. So tilt your tailbone under, press your low back to the ground, make sure that your belly's not pooching forward. And then, one more and initiate with that pelvic tilt and lift your hips up come as high as you can activating the back of your hips not so much arching your back you'll probably feel a stretch at the front of your hips or your thighs and try not to turn your feet out if you do just like notice how that feels different if your feet are turned out versus in and come on down and come up and go down and up and down 
We're peeling off the ground, coming up as high as we can, and coming down. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, cross one leg over the other. See, and my, notice my feet were hip distance apart and my heels in line with my glute. I'm just gonna cross one leg over without crossing that leg to my midline. Keeping it here, trying to keep pelvis still. We're gonna go up and down for 20 of them. Three, four. We're not so much peeling up and down here, but we're keeping our spine neutral, closing and opening at the hip. And 10 more, 10, nine, lift as high as you can without arching your back, pressing into that heel. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Leg is, uh, heels in line with our glute and lift. 20, 19. Remember we're not um, arching your back, so curl your tail under so that you don't look like that. And 10 more, nine, eight, seven. So you're gonna do one of each of these exercises, but on your own, you can go through these exercises a second time around. Bring your legs to your chest, twist to one side for a little bit of a break. Inhale, exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, exhale, come back to the middle. Bring your feet farther away so that your legs aren't bent to like 90 degrees, but like not straight, but almost straight. Flex your feet up, press your back um, of your shoulders into the ground and your hips. Let's do two legs first. Tuck tail under a little bit so you don't arch your back and lift up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift and hold, lift one leg, then the other, and switch, and switch. We're keeping our heel far away from our glute, um, using the back of our thigh to make this happen. And I'm noticing my left hamstring is not as strong as my right. And 10, did everybody say 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on down, knees to chest. Let's we get, give the legs a break a second. We cross one elbow to knee. This is our break. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Next set of exercises, bridge position again. Feet are turned, uh, feet are together, heels together. Toes turned out, knees out to the side. You're gonna lift your hips up and down. You'll probably feel a different part of your glute working a little bit more. You can have a band around your knee, knees so that you get a little bit more resistance. And let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lie on your side. Bend one leg and open and close that passe. You are getting your center um, is working to stabilize you and you're working your hip muscles. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put that leg on top of the other, lift both up and down, almost like your left or your top one is along for the ride and the bottom one is lifting it up. If this bugs your hip on the side, bring your legs forward a little bit. And four, three, two, now lift and hold, swim the legs. Swim, 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 and 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, other side. Open and close. I think we did about 20 on the other side, but I wasn't counting. That's five. That's 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs together, lift both up and down. Bring them in front of you. A little different challenge or if it's bugging your bottom hip. All right, and lift and hold and swim. Your legs, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lie on your stomach. Put your forehead on your hands. Scoop your belly button up towards your spine so that as you lift your leg, it doesn't arch your back. And then keep that leg lifted as you bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. And eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Other side and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift both legs, flutter kick. Now bring the arms out in front of you and flutter the arms for 10. Belly scoop in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on to your knees. And this actually is meant to be a set of exercises that could be good for people even who have a hard time putting weight on their knees. So we're gonna go into a plank position and just play with what is holding you here. Is it your shoulders making you be here? Are you tightening your thighs or using your belly? Or are you doing a little bit of all of those things? So just notice what you're using here. Um, obviously, I want you to be using your core, your center. Okay, spread your legs apart. Well, let's rest for a second. Roll out those wrists. You're gonna spread your legs apart and you lift up one arm and the opposite leg. This is not an easy exercise. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, push back. Give yourself a little calf stretch. Alternate your legs, bending one, then the other. You need good ankle mobility, good foot mobility for running and jumping. You know, some people think their feet are supposed to be super stable, stability shoes and lock those feet in. But the reality is your foot has to move and mold and bend a little bit as you run, just with some control. All right. We could do a whole bunch of foot strengthening exercises, but I have that in another video. So you can do those by themselves. We are now going to stand up and work our calves. Here we go, up and down, all the way as high as you can. Lifting those heels all the way up and down. My heels are pretty high for the average person, but not that high for, say, a ballet dancer. But I want you to go all the way to your full range. And four, three, two, and one. All right, so now you're gonna lift up on both legs. And if you had something to hold on, that would be better. But I'm gonna try to do this one on my balance. Go on both legs, shift to one, and then come down on that one. Good for balance. And up, shift, and down. All the way up, shift, and down. All the way up, shift, and 
and down, up, shift, and down. So we have four more, four. If I had something to hold on to, I probably wouldn't lose my balance as much, obviously. So try it both ways. And other side, up on both legs, down on just one. Up on both legs, down on just one. I don't know why I'm holding my hands out here as if I have something to hold on to, which I don't. So I'm going to relax my arms up and down. If you have a hard time balancing, you might actually, it might help to pretend that you're holding something like two ropes. It kind of helps you stabilize your center. But a good challenge for me would be to do it with my hands by my side. Let's do three and two and one. All right, I'm gonna have a seat. You can have a seat on a, on a chair and you're gonna go up and down like this. Depending on where you're at with this, you can focus on your ankle alignment, making sure you're not sickling like this. I'm trying to narrow in on me so you can see my feet. There we go. Okay, or you can put your hands on, give yourself a little bit of resistance here, or you can get a weight on your, um, on your legs to get some resistance, or you can just like lean your body forward and give your calves a little bit of extra work by putting the weight of your body on there all the way up and down. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, if 